And the theme of this year's World Environment Day is beating plastic pollution. India is hosting the celebrations. India's Environmental Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan says Indian philosophy is rooted in the concept of coexistence with nature. However, one need not be a scientist to understand the scale of pollution taking place on our streets and beaches. Plastics are omnipresent and alternatives are prohibitively expensive. Governments in the past have unsuccessfully tried to ban plastics. Bureaucratic corruption and lack of manpower to enforce the ban ensured that little was achieved. Some also argue that poor citizens cannot be forced to join the expensive war on pollution. Sample this, a citizen buying vegetables gets a plastic bag free of cost. A biodegradable bag of similar capacity costs the consumer anywhere between 5 and 20 rupees. Packaged food is another big contributor when it comes to plastic pollution. A sweet beverage in a plastic bottle can be bought for as little as 10 rupees. But the same beverage will cost double the amount in an aluminium can. Citizens cannot be, accepted, cannot be expected to shell out extra money when consumer goods companies have been slow to move towards environment-friendly packaging. Not many could have thought a few years ago that bottled water would sell like hotcakes in India. Massive marketing budgets and targeted campaigns have contributed towards companies penetrating even smaller towns and villages, most of which do not have effective waste management systems. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has made clean India a top priority of his government. And the war on plastics is definitely a challenge that all Indians must face together. India's leadership in fighting pollution is a welcome step. Today marks a major step in that direction, but tangible results will come only when all Indians come together. And like it or not, that will only happen when government incentivizes the fight against pollution. And now my colleague Aditi Singh gets you a special report on the occasion of World Environment Day. Well, as the world around is coping with realities of perpetually smog skies, the governments across the globe are doing their bit to curb pollution levels. Our correspondent Mandy Clark gets us this report from Paris. I'm on the streets of Paris today and we're looking at the app that essentially tells you how many cigarettes you've smoked based on the air pollution. Uh, so let's just open it up. And it's, it's not as good as I'd hoped, which would be zero. It's 2.3 cigarettes today. Uh, well, and if you consider that we are in the heart of Paris, that really speaks to the city's effort of combating air pollution. It's a lot better than London, which is nearly four cigarettes. Uh, so not perfect, but not bad. A couple of days ago, Mandy was in London, and this is what she found on the air quality monitor app, Shoot I Smoke. Now, I've just downloaded the app that is supposed to tell you um, how much, essentially, cigarettes you're smoking based on the air pollution. And I'm opening it up, but, and it's worse than I thought. Um, 3.7 cigarettes per day. Now, that is quite surprising, um, especially for myself as a non-smoker, to be inhaling, essentially, four cigarettes a day. Uh, but I guess that's the point of the app, to make people aware of just how much air pollution that surrounds them. So it seems quite bad here. Seems Paris's Eiffel Tower is breathing in cleaner air than its bird flyaway neighbour, Big Ben in London. But even then, is France doing enough to ensure the coming generations breathe safe? Sample this. Air pollution kills 48,000 people in France every year. Also, recurrent smog has affected life in Paris in recent years. Vehicular pollution is not solely responsible for the problem, but it definitely is a major contributor. So it doesn't come as a surprise. Paris now classifies cars based on their emissions. The more polluting ones face bans. I think there is still pollution in Paris, but will the new legislation from the government with the efforts of Paris mayor more and more they are trying to put in place? Laws that today it is getting better. For example, there are facilities where people can purchase cleaner cars and there is great air in place. 